Support our pioneers aims to empower youth to support the needs of the elderly in Singapore. We come back regularly for bi monthly visitation on Saturday to talk to the elderly, support them with their daily needs, and also help them with their household chores. He's Isaac, he's from RI, and he's my tutor. This is my tutor, Heider, he's from Anderson Primary School. I like to meet Rizek for tuition. He is very helpful. He explained the difficult homework very clearly. Uh, when I first saw the tuition program, um, I was very grateful to be able to like have this opportunity to give back because I've um, been very thankful that my teachers, my friends, my family have been able to help me throughout my education journey. My name is Abdul Shake. I'm currently studying in Fujin Secondary School. I have a family of seven. My father is actually working as a delivery man. Uh, he's a sole breadwinner and my mom is a housewife. My school life is like a wave. Uh, there's always a good times and there's always a bad times. Um, I'm an active guy, but I can be very rude <laughs> sometimes. During my sexual life, I didn't care about my parents. I didn't care about what teachers say about me. Then I didn't even bother to do my work at home and hang out with those like bad people like that who smokes, who doesn't care about studies. My teachers encourage me more on studying and more on revision with them. I find more opportunities myself with the teachers' help actually uh, to participate in these different kind of uh, events, workshops. I think that through the program, I've been able to not only work on my time management skills, but also work on like person-to-person -person interaction when I talk to Haider and when I try to guide him through and help him understand um, how to do like questions. Um, I think before um, joining the tuition program, I used to take my teachers for granted, and I always thought it was like quite easy to be a teacher to be able to like hold a class for like the twenty or thirty of us. But after after the program, even um, tutoring Haider uh, on like almost a personal level. I think that I've realised the amount of effort and the difficulty in doing so. I think the best thing is to go home every day and to know that I've at least hopefully made a difference in, in Haider's life and in the lives of like, my duties. Howell like, is an organisation where they can give you a lot of opportunities. I participate in Howell CCE Leadership Programme and I thought it would just be a boring program, but it's actually not. They actually teach us how to manage UD solution. Because during the hardware, you learn how to actually communicate and position yourself during the meetings. The best thing about the program is the activities that we did, uh, where I can use my skills and I can get to know my friends more than what I expected. I think the time is right for us to look at Howell Network in the context of you know, its contribution to Singapore society, not just in terms of the past 17 years, but going forward. To me, a key challenge is to create a society of volunteers. That Singapore must be a Singapore of stakeholders, of involved people. And here, I think, Howell Network speaks to the heart of the mission in getting our youths to come out, be a part of shaping society through volunteering in very worthy causes, through participating in very worthy events. We ultimately got involved with supporting as a beneficiary in 2014 and 2015, but you know, way before then we talked about how I could help with, uh, with, with youth mentoring or business mentoring and, and, and so on. 
we do like to nurture people. I mean, it's one of our core values in terms of being employee first. And so the whole idea of sort of um, nurturing youth for personal responsibility and achievement, I think very much kind of resonates uh, with us and is, is consistent with our values. We're Singapore, we're a small country. I think that the government and the government 组成了一个一个运动跟一个组织，来提升年轻人爱国跟为国家服务，同时呢，也使到年轻人呢知道说互相关照、互相照顾、互相支持的重要。